There are moves that golfers make that can absolutely kill a golf swing, and this is one of them. And unfortunately, I see so many amateurs making this mistake. Hey everyone, Peter Finch here, and welcome down to the Swing Quest channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button for more coaching content. Now this movement in the downswing where the hips start to move outwards towards the ball, this is called an early extension. The reason it's called that, we've got this angle between the spine and the hips, and that extension, when that happens too early, is called, guess what? An early extension. One negative of this is as the hips come forward, that can also force the right shoulder out, causing a steep downswing. So this could lead to a slice, for example. But also, if those hips move forward and the hands drop behind, the club can then get stuck and can cause a real flip through the point of impact. It can also make strike a real problem. Now, a lot of golfers do make this mistake and the reasons can be multifold, but I don't want you to use this as an excuse. If you have limited mobility within your hips, that can cause that movement because it is a release. So I would always recommend working on your fitness and making sure that you do have that mobility, but we're gonna use a drill here where you can actually test out to see if you can make the move of keeping the hips back through impact and maintaining your spine angle. So two alignment sticks. Until I release my own, I recommend the Colin Montgomery alignment stick from Amazon. Yours for about $8.99. Now I've got an eight iron here, but you can use this drill with most clubs. If you are practicing in a cupboard range, for example, you don't have access to a grass range, you can use a golf bag, a chair. You just need something which is gonna give you feedback. So I'm gonna put this alignment stick just outside my left heel. So it's about three inches here outside my left heel and the club I'm using is an A-time. Now the second alignment stick, I'm gonna put through the front belt buckles here and I'm gonna leave pretty much 80% of it protruding out to the left side, so my lead side. Obviously if you are a left-hander, you can flip this round. And the drill here is very, very simple. What I wanna be doing, I wanna be turning away and then as I come through impact, I wanna be feeling like my hip is going back and left. And you can see here how the belt buckle alignment stick has made impact with the alignment stick just outside my left heel. Now you can have this alignment stick all the way out there if you really want, but what I like about this particular drill is as you turn through and make contact, if you also feel like your left hip and your left leg is gonna be brushing up against the alignment stick, that also accentuates that feeling of the hips going back and left. Because that's what we really want here, we want that exaggeration. And if you do want to hit shots with this, just have small swings to begin with. I'd say I pretty much crossed everything off the list there. And if you don't want to use that second alignment stick again, we can have it just outside that hip and you can just use it to bump into. But I always like that little bit of turn as well. So once you've got the feeling of how to use those hips, pop the alignment sticks away and just try and exaggerate that feeling once more within the swing. So for a summary of this drill, make sure you take a screenshot now. You can use this when you go to a driving range and when you're practicing. If you did like this video as well and you want to see more coaching content, check this video out here. And if you haven't already, become a subscriber to the Swing Quest channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.